if you're on fiverr and you're and you're always replying to buyer requests and you're not getting any replies these are just some of the reasons and then another thing is so i was given an assignment to replicate this design of experiments question is a three by three factorial design i am supposed to carry out anova on this design after that do the regression analysis and then finally come up with the response surfaces i struggled with it for hours and then finally i said wait i don't need to do this on my own and then i went to fiverr i set up my post on fiverr i was asking for someone who's going to teach me to do it and i made my budget 50 dollars this video is for people who want to be fiverr sellers first thing i'll say is that there's money on fiverr people are making money on fiverr if you have never made any money online trust me pick one thing you know how to do very well go over to fiverr set up your gig and eventually you start making sales so my request was i'm trying to work on an assignment on three factor three level design of experiments the task is to do anova regression and to draw a response surface i need someone who would walk me through this via zoom if you're a statistical genius hit me up very simple so three tasks anova regression response surface the reason why i want to walk you through this is that if you're going to uh, respond to buyer's requests on Fiverr, I want you to pay attention to what your buyer is requesting for. You need to pay attention to what your buyer is requesting for. There were some guys that I picked from here. These are all people that responded to the request I put up on Fiverr. I, I put up this request and in less than 10, 15, 20 minutes, I got all these replies, right? So don't just set up an account on Fiverr and abandon it. You need to be going to uh buyer requests and keep on responding to buyer requests and you need to have your fiverr uh, app on your phone so that you can respond to buyers immediately right now i'm not going to be patient with anybody there's a guy that i messaged and he told me to check back with him in, in 12 hours I, I mean immediately i just ignored him started looking for other people some people say six hours three hours four hours the first person to deliver i'll pay that person and I'll ignore the rest of the people. That is the mindset of every buyer on Fiverr. That is it's sad, but that's the truth. Because the people that are coming to Fiverr, the only thing that is bringing them to Fiverr is the solution to their problem. And as a seller, the faster you deliver, the better for you. Unfortunately, I, I have already deleted uh, some some requests. There were some requests that were just uh, ridiculous. I'm asking for statistics, right? I'm asking for regression, ANOVA, and response surface and somebody is telling me about python programming coding look at this, this person this person says hi dear i read your request and interested in your task we are a team of professional developers having five plus years of experience in web development inbox me so we can discuss your task in details i did not ask for web development this guy probably didn't even read my buyer request and he's obviously he's not going to get this sale because i'm not going to spend my time messaging him and maybe he's thinking oh i'm making effort on fiverr why am i not getting sales you're not getting sales because you're not paying attention to the buyers this person said yes i can do it and that's all that is far from ideal that is very far from ideal the only reason the only way i'll message this person is if i'm very desperate and i cannot find anybody else but this is a good start but it's not good enough it's far from ideal this person said hi hope you are doing well Recently, I have checked your detail and I want to inform you that I have already some of my work which is working for... The English is terrible. I don't know. I, I really don't know. I can help you in this work. Let's talk further about this conversation. I am giving guarantee you that I will be in safe hands. The English is just gibberish. I don't know. Two things. Either he's just very bad at English or... uh, I mean, like, maybe he's... he's, he's, he's keypad messed him up like his autocorrect uh, feature is just terrible or the third option is that he doesn't know how to speak english and he's just using translation and for this particular work i'm trying to do that would be just terrible because i need him to explain it to me and if we cannot communicate then i won't get what i want so this person is out for me i did not message him because he's his english is terrible and yeah and i need him to explain it to me so this one is off the list so if you are going to be a fiverr seller make sure you're communicating with your seller in the language of their of their of their choice and you have as little uh grammatical errors as possible this person said hi i'm a professional engineer with expert in statistics 
and statics and have four years experience in the field i will assist you with your assignment looking forward this sounds much better you want to tell the person that you can do their work right and you want to tell them why they should trust you so this is good and this is one of the people that i i sent a message to there's a response that i have deleted and that person uh yes he's qualified but he he said he's going to charge me 250 bucks now one thing you want to remember this is another thing you need to keep in mind you want to keep your your budget a little higher just a little higher than what the what the what the buyer is is willing to offer so i cannot be willing to offer 50 bucks and then this guy is requesting 250 except he just wanted to push me away but no way in hell it's an average buyer going to come on fiverr and say they're going to offer you 10 bucks and you say no you're going to charge them 120. it's unlikely they're going to make that offer so you you don't want to bid too low right you also don't want to bid too high bidding too high is going to pursue the, the the buyer and if you bid too low the buyer is going to feel that you're not capable for instance i'm offering 50 bucks right and if somebody comes and says i can do this for you for 10 bucks or five bucks he, that person is going to look shady even if that person is very competent if you notice i put 50 bucks and all these guys have tried to mirror right they've tried to mirror 50 bucks so i put 50 bucks as my budget and this guy said he can do it 50 bucks so that guy said he can do it 50 bucks this person said 45 close to the budget this person said 50 close this person said 60 close this person has said 60 his own is ideal just that he came here and just said rubbish completely rubbish made no uh made no reference to the things i actually want out of the gig so he, this is where he filled it but his price tag of 60 makes a lot of sense from the viewpoint of of the fiber seller this person said 50 now this person said five this just makes me wonder does this person know the depth of work i am requesting for i am requesting you to teach me on zoom and i mentioned three tasks right and you say you can do it for five dollars and in your text you've not even made me understand that you understand what i'm, I'm requesting for this person just said i can do this work please contact me inbox this message comes up as oh i'm, I'm needy i i really need this your money i will collect any amount of money uh, you are willing to pay me just give me this job that's what this person is saying or knowing to him or knowing it to him this is exactly what he's saying and very rarely would a buyer buy something from this kind of description very rarely i can do this work please contact me inbox and then you are bidding so low right this person is this person trying to tell me that he, he's going to teach me what i need him to teach me on zoom for like one hour only god knows how long it's going to take and accept only five dollars what this tells me is that this person has no idea of what i'm asking for and as such i i, I did not message him at all now this other person said i will do it very well inshallah you want to keep business out of uh religion especially if it is a buyer you're meeting uh for the for the, for the very first time yes his 50 dollars uh mirrors what what I, I i put out which is good so he has a, a plus mark there but this his description is just bad and look at something else he said i will write short story english literature analysis and articles so already the fiber gig or, or, or his the description of his fiber gig or her fiber gig is very different from what i'm requesting right so this person is just replying to every buyer request which is good like i encourage her that's what like if you, have, if you really want to make money on fiber you got to make put in effort but then you, your your messages should not be generic your message should be specific to the buyer right there's there's one seller here who mentioned my name he was like it can not nice of you to post this okay this is what you want this is what like that tells me that this person has taken his time or her time to look at what i want and this person is going to be uh willing to do it this person said i do web scrapping kindly inbox me now this i mean they are getting some things right but most of them are getting some things wrong so if you're on if you're on fiverr and you're and you're always replying to buyer requests and you're not getting any replies these are just some of the reasons and then another thing is uh your your photo this is like the front of your shop right i love this one so much so much this is one of the people that i contacted just to show you that i am not like these are all the sellers i've been talking to all of them like for the past i don't know few hours and uh this guy uh we agreed to handle this in six hours time uh and that person 
it's in like three hours, but I, I, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to go into the details of what I agreed with them. But what I'm saying is, one, you, you want to look out for the price which you're putting. Make sure the price is close. The price mirrors what uh, the, the buyer is willing to pay. So in that regard, most of them here got it right, except for one person that was offering $5. Then two, your description at least, right? Your description at least should match the the kind of work that the buyer is requesting he said i do financial statements income statements balance sheets i mean it's not far from statistics so that's good and then your response itself uh, this is the guy i told you i mentioned my name he said hi harold 1414 that's my my uh fiverr account name he said my name is this he introduced himself he said uh hope your day is going well right your problem is regression analysis so i can easily do that via zoom and i can teach you face to face here, I just give you example of regression analysis. I mean, his English is also terrible, but he, he took out the time to get my name. He introduced himself and it was like, oh, this is what you want. You want regression analysis, which is what I wrote here. I said, I need regression done, right? And I need responsibility. So oh, you want regression analysis, blah, blah, blah. He stated his point. So, um, yeah. So th th this is one person that got most things right, but his English let him down. Uh, this is another person that got it right his his price is good his image fantastic uh his description do machine learning data science and deep learning in python good he now said hi i'm a professional engineer with expertise in statistics and statics i have four years of experience in the field i will i will assist you in your assignment looking forward to probably hearing from you his english is not that bad it's okay uh his description is a little short i would have hoped he, uh, he he went a little bit more in detail like okay this is what i can do this is what i can do you know so yeah so keep all these things in mind if you have not made any money online truly you you would like to start from fiverr and the reason is that fiverr is free and you can get a sale within your first few days i have a couple of videos on fiverr i'm going to link them in the description box below if you want to join fiverr like you've not joined fiverr before I have a link to register for Fiverr, totally free, just the description in this video. And uh, I hope to keep putting more videos out this year. Um, I'm not active on Fiverr anyway, anymore. I make most of my money from affiliate marketing. And if you, if you have no idea on how affiliate marketing works, I have a free course, a free mini course on affiliate marketing on this channel. Um, it's a playlist. It's also going to be in the description box below. You can find it in the videos on my channel. Uh, let me know what you think about this video and I would love to hear replies from you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.